What's up? Today we're going to morph vector shapes in After Effects and Illustrator. And we should get something like this. So, first we're going to jump into Illustrator, clear our canvas, and we're going to grab the rectangle tool, hold down shift, and we're going to draw a square. I'm just going to grab my align panel here, and we're going to center that in our canvas. And I'm just going to reverse that so we have a stroke on that. And I might give it maybe a 10 pixel stroke, just so we can see it a bit better. Uh, next, I'm going to draw a circle. So I'm going to press L over here to the ellipse tool. I'm going to drag it across so it's the same width. Snap that on our smart guides. I'm going to go and align that to the center of our canvas as well. And next, I'm going to grab a triangle. So I'm going to hold down, grab the polygon tool over here, click once. We're going to have all these settings here. Uh, we want three sides, we're going to click OK, it's not quite the right size right now, so we're going to press V, we're going to drag this so it snaps with our bottom guide, we're going to drag this so it slides with our top guide, if we have a command of Y, the outline preview, and we can see these are all perfectly aligned. And then we're just going to center this in our canvas. So now we get our starting shapes, I'm going to call this layer our guide layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to recreate these shapes using the same vector shapes. Because right now, if we put these in After Effects and morph them, the computer is going to be doing all the guessing with which vector shapes are which. So, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this Working. I'm going to grab this circle here. I'm going to hold down Alt on our keyboard, drag that up in a little square. And now, if we hide all this layer, we see we have a circle here and it's actually been duplicated from the layer below. So it exists on both layers. I'm going to select all these, and I'm going to drop their opacity down to maybe 30%. And now, I'm going to lock that layer, open up our working layer, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this circle. So we're going to go to Command C, and then Command Shift V to paste it back where it was copied from. I'm going to get the anchor point select tool and I'm going to push these anchor points to the, the guide layer of the one below. So we'll start with the square. I'm going to go command Y and I'm going to rotate all of these uh, 90, uh, sorry, clockwise. So they're all sitting on top of anchor points clockwise of them. Next, uh, we can see that our square is all squiggly because we have Bezier curves. So we can't get rid of them because we need to keep the same vector shapes. But what we can do is click on that, hold down Alt and drag that, hold down Shift and that'll snap at a 90 degree angle. And we can do the same for each set of curves. Okay, so now that we've done the square, we're going to do the triangle. So I'm going to go Command C, Command Shift V, paste that back where it is. Press A to get our quick selection tool. I'm going to drag this onto this corner. I'm going to grab this, drag that onto the center. I'm going to drag this onto our corner down here and we'll bring this one into the center. Next we'll just grab the Bezier handles, hold down Alt to move those and snap them to the triangle below. And that's why we created this uh, triangle layer so that we can know where to snap them. So now that we have these three shapes set up and they're all using four anchor points, we're going to lock this layer, oh sorry, we're going to delete the guide layer below. And we can save this and move into After Effects. So now that we're in After Effects, we're going to grab our Shapes layer that we've just dropped in. It should be 1080 by 1080, so you'll be able to see that here. And we're going to move that down here to create a new composition with those settings. We're going to go Layer, New, Solid. And we're going to just make a, make a white solid, drop that below. And now we can see our shapes that we've created. Right now, these are all uh, raster images, like a JPEG. So we're going to right click on that, go create, and sh create shapes from vector layer. So now they're all editable, much like in a shape layer you draw in After Effects. Next we're going to drill down into our settings, we've got contents, group, and we're going to open each one of these up, and we're going to go path in each of them. So each of these groups is one of our objects, a triangle, our square, square, or our circle. So we're going to first keyframe all these paths, I'm going to push along to about uh, two seconds. I'm going to get the first keyframe from group two, copy that. I'm going to select the first group one path and paste that there. Just our, tri our triangle just disappeared, it's fine. 
And then we're going to do the same with our group three. Move ahead, maybe four seconds. Select the, the first path, paste that. And now we've just stored the information from our three paths into one and keyframing them along our timeline. So if we just delete these groups and go back to the start, you can see how our triangle morphing into a square and then morphing into a circle. So that's how you morph shapes in Illustrator. You can do it with all kinds of logos. So now you know how to morph shapes in Illustrator, but I'm going to show you how to make something that looks a bit nicer because it's a bit bland right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop this animation and it's a bit silly that it kind of jumps from one to the other. So I'm going to grab all of these keyframes, copy them, put it a bit, a little bit forward and paste. So now we, it's, the shape's going to hold on each one for just a little bit. It gives you a second to appreciate. I'm going to copy these and I'm going to put these at the front. Maybe it's six seconds. And I'll paste them here. So, whoops. So now our animation can loop. And I'm going to bring this in to about six. Cool. Next, I'm going to grab all these and I'm going to convert these into Bezier. So we're going to ease them in and out. So we're going to go select them all and go Shift F9. So now we've got these eased, eased keyframes. So now they just kind of ease into each shape. Beautiful. Uh, next, we're going to add a bit of different, hmm, nice colors. So I got a color um, shape here. So these are a couple colors I pre-selected. Um, just push these over to the side. What I'm going to do is going to take this white solid layer, go layer solid settings, and we're going to color pick this center color. Uh, for this shape outline, we're going to grab stroke. We're going to color pick the uh, blue color. And we're also going to bump this up a bit to maybe 30 pixels. Hmm, 50. Yeah, looks nice and solid now. Hide this for now. Whoa, those corners look a bit weird. Maybe if we had some motion blur. Grab motion blur. Um, we're going to have stroke settings, but a cap to round join. Oh yeah, so now we have round joints. So I'm gonna flick on the corners. Perfect. And next, I just wanna add in that final red color that we have. So what I wanna do is create a drop shadow. If we get a drop shadow, I kinda of want the center drop shadowed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this whole shapes outline. And we'll grab the colors as well, cause we'll need that. I'm gonna right click and go pre-compose. Press, uh, I'm gonna call this circle. So we're going to go into circle. So now we've got all our settings in circle here. I'm just going to hide that. And if we go back to sh our shapes, we see we st it's all hidden inside that pre-comp. We're going to duplicate this circle, go Command-C, Command-V, and we're going to name this circle Fill. And we're going to go into here and select our shape and rather than doing a stroke fill just we're also going to add in um, a fill to it so we want to grab our shape layer we didn't import it with a fill because it's question mark up here so we're going to go add fill so now it has a fill we're going to color pick that fill into our uh, soft red color we're going to uh, color pick the stroke as well and so now we have this circle fill layer we're going to delete this colors we're going to go to our shapes layer uh, and we're going to drop the circle fill in just below the circle. So now it looks filled in uh, and we're just going to do a drop shadow effect. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to offset that. Um, I'm going to go plus 50 and then plus 50. So it's going to offset it at a 45 degree. Um, that might not be perfect. This is all looking a bit big, so I'll just uh, create a new L object and parent both of these to that. And I'm going to scale this null object by maybe 85%, give it a bit more air. And then I'll grab this circle fill, and now it's just 50, so we'll just go 100 by 100. Yeah, we'll play that. And that's a nice little, pleasing little stylized looking little animation little thingo. So, yeah. I uh, hope you
hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little something. Probably use that for maybe some icons. Um, pretty much anything that's vector. So you can kind of go wild with morphing things. I kind of like the simplicity of a couple shapes changing. Feel free to go wild. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, if you do anything really cool looking, tag me on Instagram. And um, see you in the next one.